The Legend of the Bell Witch takes place in Adams, Tennessee between 1817 and 1821. During this four-year period, a supposed evil spirit haunted and tormented members of the Bell family, with claims that the spirit was the cause of the slow and eventual death of the landowner and head of household John Bell himself. We decided to take a deep dive into this legend ourselves. We packed up the car and headed on a trip to Adams, Tennessee. Of course, we had to make a stop for some good food along the way at Emma Keys in Greensboro, North Carolina. Although the rolling fields and scenic back roads are beautiful while driving through Kentucky, we were quite excited to finally arrive at our destination eight and a half hours later. Our first stop was the Adams City Hall Museum. Formerly the local high school up until 1975, this building now serves as a community center. On the property sits an old log cabin, which was placed on the property in 1982, and is supposedly a replica of the original Bell family cabin. It is possible that the cabin contains logs from the original Bell family cabin itself. You'll notice the number 7 over the door, which might be a reference to the spirit leaving with the vow to return in 7 years, which she reportedly followed through with. A couple of other old buildings have been moved and placed on the property over the years, including a barber shop. As we entered the building, we were met with an interesting sight. Three men were seated in the entryway discussing the Bell Witch legend itself. After some welcomed greetings and conversation, we learned one of the men was Tim Henson. He is a local historian and has been featured in numerous documentaries and interviews over the years talking about the legend and the Bell family. Mr. Henson happily gave us a tour of the One Room Museum, which contained artifacts and pictures not just on the Bell Witch legend, but also on local events held in the small town over the years. The old schoolhouse building contains a couple of small businesses and a replica drugstore soda fountain. Lunchtime was quickly approaching as we finished browsing the museum, so our tour guide recommended we head next door to what used to be the cafeteria we needed at the restaurant that now occupies the space called Moss's. We had a good southern lunch and were even greeted by a furry friend on our way out. This little farm dog. <laughs> Pretty. Aren't you pretty? Our next destination was located just down the street from the museum, the Bellwood Cemetery. 
Erected in 1957, this site serves as a memorial for the John Bell family. A small wall, about three feet high, encloses an area with gravestones for descendants of John Bell. Several descendants are buried here, and many graves still remain empty. Anyone may be buried in the graveyard outside of the marble wall. That concluded our day's adventure related to the Bell Witch. The next legend we investigated was luckily just a town over, and we'll share what we saw in a part two video of this trip.